a while ago I was watching a video from Diode on the Wild from Danny on his channel. He was building a solid state Tesla coil and at this episode he was winding the coil itself to measure the resonant frequency of the coil. He built a small circuit consisting of a 555 oscillator adjustable uh, in series connected with two anti-parallel LEDs to the base of the coil. Uh, when he adjusted the, uh, the 555 itself and the frequency was near or reached the resonant frequency of the coil itself, well not directly the coil itself, the, the, the resonance circuit is the coil and the air as an air capacitor was a virtual capacitor going to mains earth like that. So this resonant frequency when it was reached the two LEDs were glowing bright, brightest. I like the idea and because I'm, I'm working with Tesla coils and high energy electronics too. Uh, I wanted to build something similar but um, more versatile and more comfortable. And this is what came out. The design consists of a DDS generator and from, from analog devices. I think AD9833. Uh, it's based on an Arduino Nano, it's on the bottom. I use two rotary encoders, one for the frequency and one for the frequency multiplier. At the moment the frequency multiplier is 1000, that means 1 kilohertz. And here you can go there, you see the multiplier stages itself. Uh, a little bit lower there. Yeah. The idea is that when I now the frequency is out of resonance, the, the set frequency is not the resonant frequency of the coil itself. If I go a little bit higher near to the resonant frequency of the coil. As you can see you can see that the LED and the bar graph is at maximum. This of course is because I'm near the coil now. If I move from the coil, it goes away again because I'm changing the capacity. Uh, just to get it back again, let's reset it. Out of sync. And the idea, <laughs> I made it like that so that you can see that the Output power that this thing delivers is more than enough. Uh, focusing is not good, but anyway, to light a neon, a neon bulb, ne or the same idea with a mixie tube. And here you can see what happens. When I change the capacity, and the capacity is my hand, nothing else. So with that design, you do not need an external frequency counter, even though that you can connect one, because you can use this, this gadget a function generator too. The display usable is a 1604, that means four lines, 16 characters, that's the big one, or one like that, that I designed, based on an EA DOC1063 or something like that from EA Electronics, got this, these very cheap, and I built and uh, universal PCB for that. So the display can now be used either via the online SPI or as a 4-bit 
or is it 8-bit parallel? At the moment it's configured for 4-bit parallel that matches the standard 16 OX something the via LCD, LCD displays. The rest is built with standard cheap China modules. I built like that because I built this 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 gadget like that because I wanted to be cheap, very cheap. These three modules that you here are less than ten dollars. Everybody can build it very easy. Everything is on this. Almost everything is on almost is on these three modules. On the Arduino, you have the complete USB connectivity, and the step down linear step down uh, converter from 12 to 5 volt here i have the uh, parallel to i square c so i can use i need only uh, two lines from the arduino nano and the complete dds module okay here you see it 9833 as i said less than ten dollars these three modules if i would design the pcb or this the whole thing uh, and wanted to put all the components on one board the component itself would be almost three times the price of the whole design of the of the whole build as you see it now except of the display of course uh, on the ref on the left side there is the uh, uh, voltage converter, a level converter that, uh, that I use as the power stage. There are six gates inside and three of them, all six are in, in parallel. Five are in parallel and one is in series so that you have no inversion. And the optocoupler is used to Optocoupler, the, the, the LED side of the optocoupler is connected anti-parallel to the resonant indicator, indicator LED and that transfers linearly the amplitude of the signal and to the Arduino as a voltage to the Arduino and this is displayed as the bar graph. This is the the convert the, the adapter PCB, and here you have here another one another gadget that is for another time.